hi everybody welcome to according to matume and i am matume if you're new here welcome 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 thank you so much for clicking on my video and if you like content like this don't forget to hit the subscribe down button down below and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so 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 much for coming back to my content i appreciate you guys so 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 much so in today's video um wait so today is day 18 of 100 days of finance um i hope you are enjoying this series this video i'm going to be touching on something i have been thinking about for a very long time so i am planning to buy a car in 2025 i feel like i'm at a financial situation where i can start planning not buying but planning for uh, my first car and I'm going to take you guys through my thinking, through the steps that I am taking to prepare to actually buy my first car. Because buying a car is a huge, huge financial um, commitment. You need to know what you're getting into. You need to know all the things that go behind having a car, owning a car, and all the financial um, requirements that you will have to meet to actually qualify for a car the first thing that i am doing is looking at car options so i have a, this thing in the back of my mind that it's 2024 and it's the end of the year so meaning 2025 there will be new stock there will be new cars there will be new prices to those cars so whatever money i am looking at now it will be drastically different in 2025 but there's nothing wrong with looking at the options that i have and obviously i am looking at cars that are entry level i'm not looking at anything luxury so i'm not thinking mercedes-benz i'm not thinking bmw i'm not thinking land rover and all of those things i am looking for something that is practical i'm looking for something that will take me from a to b something that will be affordable and comfortable for me because i have bigger goals my goal is to have my own home so i'm not looking at something that will be expensive and something that will take me take a lot of my money um, but i am looking for something that will make my life easier like transport is um, a pain where i live and it takes too long to get from pen, point a to point b so think uh, grand i10 think picanto think um starlet think those are uh, entry level economy cars the next thing that i looked at is affordability so obviously you need to know what the monthly repayment is what the potential insurance will be and what will the petrol uh, require you and obviously what the service will be and another thing that i need to take into account is the everyday damage here damage there just in case something happens to the cost what i did was i went to affordability calculators um so you just search affordability calculator on google and then you have to actually know the price of the car that you want and then you fill out a form um so if the car is 190,000 if it's 250,000 if it's uh 1 million you put in those numbers in there and then you obviously know if you have a deposit, you will know what the interest rate might be. So the estimation of the interest rate. So obviously your interest rate will be different depending on you, like your credit profile, the uh, deposit that you have, your credit history and all those things I always talk about. Um, but there is an estimation that you can get on these car websites. What I can tell you is I'm not looking to pay anything beyond 4,000 Rand. Genuinely, genuinely not willing to pay anything beyond that. I th I feel like that will be my comfortable place, um, especially considering that you have to put petrol in the car and do all these things for it to function and move and what, what. I am aware that, that I am giving myself a very small uh, margin for the car, but I like having a car is not a huge necessity for me it is just something that i want talking about um car repayments the next thing will be for me to then find a way to increase my income so that i can possibly have more wiggle room or i can have more of a deposit for my car that is why i have been going hard on my side hustles 
and I have been trying to find ways to increase my income. So the other thing that I'm thinking about when it comes to getting a car is actually finding an affordable car that I can buy cash. I am very good with saving money. Um, buying cash is another thing that is available to me. It is possible to me. Actually, if I could like get a car that I can buy cash, I would. I would do it in a heartbeat. I hate having to have um, the debit on my bank i it's not my favorite thing um and with interest rates with cars in south africa like cars are expensive ridiculously in south africa they just inflate car prices because they see that south africans are buying more cars so it is just ridiculous how much you pay for a simple picanto in south like it just doesn't make sense so i would rather pay cash for a car that i know that i'm gonna own and I would rather pay for insurance alone. Next to that, I do have to think about um, putting aside my deposit if I don't buy the car cash. Even if they say don't uh, put out any deposit, it's deposit free, it's insurance free, I would rather have money that I put into the car and put pay that deposit, reduce my monthly repayment than having to get that uh, car have a huge balloon payment have a huge repay bargain monthly installment have huge interest rates so for me it would make more sense for me to put money aside for a car and my deposit or then i could put it away for that balloon payment at the end of the term of so this is part one of many parts of me planning to buy a car um, I will keep you posted on this 100 days of finance on where I am, my thinking, what my thinking is. And if you are planning on buying, on buying a car of, or you have already bought a car, please share your tips. Please share your advice. I would really, really appreciate it. And other people would also appreciate it in the comments on the best way to buy a car so that you don't feel like you are drowning with your finances like it is very important for us to share with each other to teach each other and i appreciate you guys for watching i will see you in tomorrow's video bye